You were a child, back then you were special You said things that were so profound You're not special anymore You grew up, bought a computer Found others just like you You're special again You and your online friends are so special You say things that are so profound You're an indigo man You're an indigo man Sweet boots. Thank you. And uh, first of all, uh, the reason why you are hearing that sound is because uh, during the break, uh, we got a singular $500 donation from Kial. Oh, wow. Right. That's right. Five, $500. So anyway, what I meant to say was that, well, okay, <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Oh, well. Now then, what I meant to say was that we got a $500 donation from Kiel. Uh... <laughs> wow. <laughs> you feel lucky, punk. All right, here we go. <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> oh god am i safe is it clear all right i think it's clear all right so uh <laughs> <laughs> all right we're out of them bobs people start damn it all right here we go all right so Kiel, uh left the comment uh been at work for most of this but just dropping in to do my part i don't know what the incentives are or what i'm making someone do or even what block i'm donating in it'll be a fun mystery when i watch it all on the youtube vids Keep doing the good work. Uh, thank you so much, Keo. Uh, this is our 14 of Garbage Day. We are past the halfway point. Uh, we are in a more comfortable place because uh, we've experienced the Lou Reed's hour. We've seen the edge, baby. <laughs> we, we walked there, and now we're walking on back. Everything is going to be real nice. Uh, my name is Lemon. I'm your host for the hour. In the room uh, for this hour, we've got uh, Frank West. We've got Victor Laszlo. Yay. We've got Zarla. Uh, yeah. And Montreth is here. Hi, Montreth. Hello. And, uh, <laughs> I know. And... Talk, I guess. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Yep. Uh, and we've got, for the first time ever, not just in Garbage Day, but in the F+, uh, in its entirety, uh, the hot dog air fryer. We've got Kendrick Lobstar. Hi! You know, I knew that that would be my downfall, and I have <laughs> never escaped it. Yep. yep. <laughs> I'm so glad to be here. Yes, yes. Uh, work in the pens. Uh, we've got uh, Moxie uh, on the Indigo Prophecy, so this is going to be uh, really a pretty special hour, but I want it to be a special hour. I want it to be a special hour, and in so doing, I'm going to start things off with a donation incentive, but it's not a donation incentive from me. It's a donation incentive uh, actually from somebody who uh, is very important in my life, and that is uh, my own child. So my own child Aww. is offering uh, four, four items of artisanal uh, handmade slime. Uh, she is incredibly, incredibly talented at making slime. Uh, she is a slime artisan. Uh, and for the low, low price of $35, you can get some hand artisanal uh, handmade slime. And by that, I mean that uh, we will actually take your order uh, and you can choose a color. Uh, you can choose your own uh, glitter uh, options. Uh, oh God, glitter and, slime? Yeah, yeah, glitter slime. Oh, that, yeah. That's hateful. Yeah. And yeah. how many of these? quality stuff. If you it sure is. You think <laughs> glitter's well, annoying to have... clean up? Imagine if there's fucking... <laughs> yeah. If you have an enemy, you need to buy this incentive. And, and <laughs> how many of them are there? Uh, I've got four of these. Uh, so okay. uh, there are four of these uh, in inventory. $35 will get you uh, slime uh, made by uh, my own wonderful child. Uh, so please, uh, we're at $10,000, or we're over $10,000, which I'm really, really super excited about. Uh, we want that number to get higher. So we appreciate the donations. And please, please, please keep them coming because... We got to do this shit for a reason, right? Anyway, um, so we're going to be going to a website that actually does not exist anymore. Um, 
this was a document provided to us uh, by Cheapskate at some point in the past. Uh, it is kind of as old as the F plus hopper is. Uh, we're going to be actually not going to a site called indigosociety.com uh, because it uh, the domain has been lost and taken over by squatters. Uh, so it was, you know, just sort of a forum about indigo children. Uh, indigo children, of course, uh, uh, children who uh, are old souls. They've, they've, they've lived, they've died, they've been reincarnated, uh, and they're very incredibly, incredibly special. So uh, we're going to start here. Uh, with uh, <laughs> mighty Apollo incarnate, <laughs> Christ, um, a uh, Frank West. Uh, oh. you are uh Almighty, all Almighty, Almighty Phoebus. Almighty Phoebus. <laughs> Greeting, friends. Hi. In 2013, I made a song about finding God. <laughs> 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 and here it is. It. <laughs> Real good song. Love your song. Wow. Is that what that's about? Yeah. If you if you really understand I it. Thank God and she song. said oomba. It's actually about something dumber than that, but that's not for today. I refuse to believe it. Oh. oh my god, we got uh we got three slimes. Uh one going to shell game, one going to our very own Kendrick Lobstar. I'm gonna uh, eat it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the uh third one there going to sleeps, uh, which is a name that sounds very, very, very nice. Uh that means we've got one more available. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you for your donations. I'm sorry, continue. On the no, its track list number is 14, link to my SoundCloud. That, yeah. unfortunately, is also gone. Oh. Yeah, I'm Aww. disappointed. God, on, the morning, <laughs> on the morning of January 1st, 2014, heard a vivid voice in my head <laughs> saying, I love you, my son. Oh, thank you, token opposition. <laughs> T-O-K-I-N. <laughs> token opposition. <laughs> Every time I read it, it's funnier. <laughs> It's token opposition. Uh, <laughs> that's lovely. What a wonderful, wonderful name. Uh, and you will be getting your slime uh, at some point after Garbage Day. It won't take that long, but, you know, it won't be tomorrow is all I'm saying. But uh, thank you so much for your donations. Uh, more donation incentives will be uh, on the list. I'm sorry. Continue, Frank. Uh, this really freaked me out, but I thought nothing of it. Uh, I went to thee to tend to my hygiene when I saw it. I had a one on my right shoulder and a four on my left. They were in the form of scars. Stretch marks. Together that number is 14. Since then I've been noticing the gods more and more. A few weeks after that incident, one morning after waking up, I heard an elderly male voice, again, in my head, exclaiming, your name is Phobus Apollo. No. After hearing that, promptly picked up my phone to look up the close bracket, the name. <laughs> God of the sun, archery, blank, music, poetry, and other things. <laughs> is that what it said? It said other things. <laughs> Miscellany, etc. Et other stuff. The God and shit. It's, it's cool. <laughs> If you looked up Greek gods, like, kinda? Yeah. I mean, okay, no, that is actually pretty fair. Uh, yeah. Just that, okay. There's that one god that's like, hey man, I'm gonna take everything else, alright? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the mental image of somebody getting spoken to by god, and and then they just reach in their foot pocket and whip out their phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, hold on, let me confirm this. this. Right Apollo, Apollo, what is that? Apollo, scroll, scroll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I find clicking a... noise. <laughs> <laughs> I am a bit psychic, or prophetic, as I cannot call on premonitions anytime I please. And I am, not to brag, a musical project. Pro pro I'm not a speaking prodigy, folks. Not to brag. Not to brag. <laughs> not to brag. <laughs> Not Musical prophecy. <laughs> I'm proficient at archery. My hands literally follow my thoughts. It's like remote control. Oh, wow. Which oh, cold that is amazing. Wow. Oh, oh my god. god, you know what? My, dude, my hands also do what I tell them to. <laughs> Pick it's up nice. this glass. Put it to my mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> we, can't, we can't start bragging now. Everyone, you just assume, you're just going through life assuming everyone else has to manually quap through life. And you're the only one that doesn't it, it would have actually to. be more like more <laughs> impressive if your hands didn't do what you were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Idle hands. And, not to brag, I can stare directly at the sun without squinting. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. I can right, do, yeah. but only once. <laughs> well, after you do it for once, it gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> I was hesitant to believe it. One afternoon in the summer of 2014, my abdomen suddenly jumped against my will. What? This... <laughs> I Boing. saw that movie. <laughs> this startled me. I sat up and sat still for a few seconds when it happened again. I didn't know what was going on. I, I said, hello? And with my... <laughs> to your stomach? To my stomach, I guess. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Uh, oh, and, my, and with my own voice, and a young female simultaneously, this time not in my head, literally with my own vocal cords, the unknown entity replied, Hmm? Uh, I wanted to make sure this was really happening, and said, Is this real? The reply, Very. Who are you? I asked. A member of your family that misses you very much, Apollo. I sat silent for a few moments, dumbfounded. Could it be true? Could I be the modern incarnation of a Greek god? I a thought mortal of... being that <laughs> therefore still exists. Mm -hmm. I thought about the 14 being a sign from God, but why would he lead me to my own demise by telling me I'm Apollo? Uh, what? Okay. I guess we skipped a chapter there. Uh... <laughs> well, that's the other stuff. Ah, oh. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've met my sister oh, Artemis. You're Apollo Carl. Creed. <laughs> oh, of course, of course. I will break yes. your soul. <laughs> I do remember the part in Rocky where Apollo Creed stared at the sun for a while. <laughs> Weird. That's why he couldn't see those punches coming? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I've met my sister Artemis Incarnate. Maybe. I need more info. If you are her, or know where she is, please contact me. <laughs> she isn't aware of her divine origins yet, as far as I know. <clears throat> I've only told this information to my closest friend, Joseph, who is Christian, because I am afraid of being ridiculed by the mainstream followers of Christ. Mm -hmm. I've also had visions and dreams of Zeus, possibly my father, oh. hurling a, command a chimera in a Tartarus. The Greek spelling. <laughs> as if I was, as if I was actually present. It's the also... non-Greek spelling of Tartarus. I think you means like not Tartar hell. Sauce. Tartar sauce, right? <laughs> Tartar sauce. Thank you. I was gonna go ahead and do that one, but thank you for closing it out. <laughs> it's also crazy. The entity I described has been with me since that day, and I found out that through her, it's a female. I can communicate with other Olympians and many other people. I can even actively simulate past and future with my body. Perhaps one of my limited powers? I just wish to know the truth. The truth of what self. Does it, what does it mean to simulate the past and the future? With it's called mime. It's kind of what it's kind of what uh, Lou just read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Simulate. My bad. <laughs> Disregard. Apollo once said know thyself and that okay that was that was aristotle but yeah sure <laughs> apollo said it first hey, aristotle he might have style. said it too <laughs> he stole it <laughs> copyright apollo that is a lot of people intended. have said it okay yeah. <laughs> it's just a phrase it's going around <laughs> nothing will sway me from being me wow wow yeah wow yeah. That was pretty amazing. I liked, <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, magicians will use the phrase provers. <laughs> there was a lot of provers in there. Huh. Pretty good. I'd, I'd like to reply real quick, I, uh, if, that's, <laughs> if that's okay. Uh, depends on what your name is, I suppose. My name is Tree Worm. <laughs> okay, and how do you spell that? Uh, T-R-E-E-W-Y-R-M. Cool. The Greek way. Cool, cool, the cool. Greek way, yes. The Magic the Gathering way. Yes. Uh, is, was, Apollo a Christ avatar? Mm, what is yeah. self? Where does it arise from? Who is observing the observer? Who is on ayahuasca right now? For <laughs> what reason is there a self, I? 
I am very confused by these questions. Can you help me to understand? First and most important, though, is there truth? Or is truth another illusion we buy into at a net loss? <laughs> Don't invest in truth. It's a bad market. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, well, we won't know the confused. answer to that. Uh, yeah. So instead, uh, we're going to have to move into, you know, the, this is, you know, it's a website, uh, you know, but here we are, uh, you know, sort of selling these uh, these donation incentives, you know, trying to trying to make people's lives better. And so um, I think we can actually uh, find out something with the Indigo Starter Kit. Uh, so uh, Kendrick Lobstar, yes. uh, do you think you can tell us about the Indigo Starter Kit, please? I would be happy to. I don't Thank know you. what an Indigo child is. I, I'm. I'm sure we're going to find out, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, so, so no, no, I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, you know. Hippie bullshit. Um, oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, and then like my child's special. And then you oh. push those together. Um, yeah. eh, got it. You got it. There it is. I got a lady like that in my neighborhood. She sells makeup. You don't uh, say. You don't say. Okay. So, does she, does she stop like over a lot? Like, does she have like not what are choice. supposed to be casual conversations that last a long time? She very often tells me about people she thinks I know. Um, and, and very much she tells me about the goblin kid we have in the neighborhood. Um, I always find him in my trash cans, but he also, every once in a while, uh, she finds him in her garage stealing brisk iced tea. <laughs> That's a real story. I didn't make that up. Goblin. Anyway, what's, uh, what's Indigo Dog got to say? So uh, Indigo Dog. Uh, so you broke down and took the quiz after all your friends swear that you must be an Indigo child or an Indigo adult. Oh, now what? Indigo adult. <laughs> You're such an indigo adult. Oh my god. Welcome to a simple and free guide to get you set up and running as a newly discovered indigo person. I'm sorry, I realized I talk I'm like a YouTuber suddenly. <clears throat> <laughs> if you haven't already, invest in some surge protectors for your electronics. Indigo mood swings are notorious for shorting out light bulbs and frying computers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Clear out the clutter and mess in your home ASAP. Messiness is a magnet for dark energy and negative spirits. You don't want to deal with them just yet. You might even want to do a thorough sage smudging or cleansing ritual after for good measure. You want to go up five levels before you deal with that. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Learn about everything. Make indigo friends online, but don't come out of the closet until you understand yourself better. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure you, make sure you sure. don't talk about this a lot, like yeah, on the internet yeah. or whatever. Make sure you don't tell every damn person you know. <laughs> you can't sleep. Move all electronics out of the bedroom. Can't manage to part with your wall of electronics you so carefully set up? Put the whole setup on a surge protector power strip with a master switch on it so you can turn the power yeah. off on everything. It's very, it's very <laughs> difficult to get rid of all the electronics and also be online as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you do? You still deal with every day. <laughs> if, you, if, you're, if you're online enough, you don't need the computers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't I know it? I highly recommend an indigo optimum diet. Mostly fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and nuts. Can't go total veggie, then cut back on animal products or substitute them with veggie equivalents. No soda or coffee. Herbal teas and juice that have been watered down a little. Lots of water. Wait, lots of water. Choose fresh over processed and natural over junk. Can't do it. Just cut back. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, here. Can't do it. Just don't eat. <laughs> Stop taking recreational drugs and drinking alcohol. Let your body reset. Oh, reset. There you go. I gotta stop. Let your body reset itself back to normal. Okay. Avoid by recreational drugs, like you know, asterisk, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Cialis. And okay. Okay. Some cool. Cool, cool. 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 Remember my uh, body when it was normal, and I didn't care for it. <laughs> <laughs> Avoid oh, negative in the first place. <laughs> back here again. God damn it. <laughs> You know what it is? You can't take them recreationally. As long as it's not recreational, you're okay. Oh, oh okay. Just a bit. Like, oh, I have to take crack again. Oh. <laughs> uh, renew your faith. Don't believe in anything? Study religion and spir spirituality and find one that calls to you. Wait, this is not religion? <laughs> not religious? Be religious. <laughs> There's never been a problem with that. This is by no means a complete list, but it's enough for you to get over some common new indigo problems. Oh, that's capitalized. Those are common problems. Many, many will disagree with this list and many will cheer. Yay. Use your intuition about what seems right for you in everything in life. 
do whatever. Yeah, just <laughs> fuck it. Nothing means anything. Just do whatever. Do some like <laughs> mysticism or like whatever. Uh, Montreth. Uh, mm. I believe that uh, Bright Pup Two needs some help uh, controlling mystic energy. Isn't that true? Uh, yes, I do. And I would just like to say that that last post was by Indigo Dog, and this one is by oh, well, Bright well, Pup. Yippee, so yippee, please, yippee, yippee, please yippee, yippee. don't bring your dogs. Please don't bring your dogs into this. <laughs> Sage smudge your dog, and now you gotta. <laughs> last time I tried, my dog was not into it. <laughs> okay. I anyway, I I need help controlling mystic energies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Most people write asking for help when they are not strong enough and know very little about the psychic and dimensional realms. I'm, I'm sorry, reams. <laughs> sorry, what is this, a fucking hobby? <laughs> not to mention they read last night. What else are you going to print with... on? <laughs> <laughs> but with me, it's the opposite. I know too much and have Ooh. too many forces and uh, work with me. I've been there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I control certain dimensional ener energies, meaning belonging to the energy, indigo energies belonging to the indigo energies, and paranormal energies, again, the wrong energy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just assume energy is with an apostrophe every time. It all belongs to energy. Yeah. <laughs> energy is the beholder. I'm waiting on an energy. <laughs> it, it appears as though the energies I have working together are not compatible, for I could see into any dimension, any realm, and the spirit world. But this comes at a great price, because of the great depth of power. It has excruciating bad effect on my body. I spent the days bleeding it's a through the on nose. A <laughs> Huh. I spent the days bleeding through the nose and getting such <laughs> skull-driving migraines and dizziness. Okay. Okay. Not uh, only huh. the ectoplasma comes out of every imaginable oh. place. So this oh, is dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, I've been uh, there, too. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Every time night comes, it is when I see other planes the most clear when I'm awake. <laughs> 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 when I'm awake, it's like my room partially changes into something else. The reason I know I'm awake, it's because my bad heel is acting up. He heal as in heal yourself, physician. Right, 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 right. So you are probably asking yourself, does he regret getting the powers? Well, no, because the lives I have saved are very precious to me, and I know that my faith in God keeps me strong. Look, I know how this sounds, but I need some help in balancing these diverse energies in my body. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there to help! <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the help. Hanson's always there for you. <laughs> Indigo energy? I dimensional don't... energy? No, Hanson energy. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, this is sleep. this is this is one of my favorite AI birds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't sleep much because that is the scariest time. Please tell me I am not the only one. If you have a simil similar story to mine, or if you have advice, please PM me. <laughs> Try new similar. Um. <laughs> My name's uh, Puravita, um, so that's a username that sucks. Anyway, uh, I do healing meditations daily. I'll include you in my meditations, Bright Pup. You may have acquired considerable knowledge and experience in the astral planes, but I don't think you know too much yet. Otherwise, your energy would be balanced, and you would not be suffering physical and mental pain. <laughs> <laughs> it's get good. <laughs> Some real, some real bedside manner from Puravita right there. <laughs> that's the, that's the one thing I've noticed. Like whenever someone posts, like yeah. I am too powerful, like help me, I can't control my powers. This, the next person will always like be someone who, well, you're not that powerful yet because you can't control your powers. Are you trying to say that's not what the Buddha did? <laughs> <laughs> 
Not like me. He sat under the, the tree and said, well, actually. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know shit. Uh, yeah, so I don't think you know too much yet. Otherwise, your energy. Uh, I find following the middle way of Buddhism to be very helpful in situations like yours. There's no need for hurry on the path to enlightenment, especially if your health suffers in the process. Personally, I take a big step back. Recharge. You need to shed your fear of sleep. Let go. I think I'm telling you to kill yourself. Sleep <laughs> is your friend. That's where most healing takes place. When you are in a relaxed state. I have a gift of sleeping like a log, not to brag. Deep breathing helps along with meditation techniques to calm, clear the mind. Exercising helps a lot, too. Hopes you feel better. You know, we're only sleep. Sleep. We'll just sleep then. We're only like four people in, and I'm pretty sure that these are the kind of people, if you rickrolled them, you destroy their life. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This was not the link that I clicked they on. They would write a New York Times article on you. <laughs> not like, you know, not Comcast. <laughs> like like not to take this shit personally or anything but like i love the like oh i'm having trouble sleeping because my powers are too strong and all of this stuff yeah. and then the next person's like you should fucking sleep better <laughs> go to sleep, sleep. god kind of like you when know? your worst cousin tries to go super saiyan and he's like, <laughs> it's like, like okay right right up has a very good, good re reply to this <laughs> okay Normally, I'm the first to take advice of stay up back and recuperate. <laughs> However, I am given visions from the higher powers and I have wow. no choice. Wow. Please share in my visions. See what I see. I mean, I was given the sort of um, Lo Dung Ping. Sorry, my Chinese is not very good. <laughs> no, it is his, I'm sure. <laughs> and, and the sword of the immortal eight. I have psychically embedded all the information you need. <laughs> Please see oh. attached file. <laughs> uh, an NFT, okay. <laughs> Can you resend this in another extension? My brain doesn't have this. This has an EXE at the end. No, it does it. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. What the hell is dot sword? <laughs> <laughs> the moxie drawing right now is can't sleep too much bullshit <laughs> moxie, i'm gonna ask if you can go ahead and screenshot and send that one to me <laughs> uh okay well, uh, yeah, I, I mean that as a tattoo and yeah. i don't like tattoos but, um, <laughs> i gonna go ahead and ask for that personally I, I will tattoo that on my body couple things uh, uh artists will have uh some form of their art available uh either in a digital format that you can just look at or possibly in a uh physical format uh after the show as well as i can tell you that tattoos are on the horizon um anyway anyway this one um, on my body <laughs> <laughs> so uh so uh, it's it's this is a this is a gift here uh, this document from Cheapskate and that means that it took us four threads to get to fucking cyballs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's goddamn time. Uh, I think Sarla, uh, mm -hmm. your sovereign slade, sovereign slade, sovereign slade, something like that. I think I had an uncle. That, I had an uncle that had cyballs. I think for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Always popping out of his jean shorts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. my Uncle Rick. <laughs> hey, ever since my last discovery, I've noticed a major change. Whatever I'm thinking about, if it is nearby, it flash go gold. Also, my cyballs flash gold like light switches. It's weird. I'll be holding chi in my hand and looking at it, and it's all pink and blue and yellow, and then all of a sudden it will flash gold and feel cold, also warping things around it like a fishbowl. Okay, so to the point. What is it, and why is it that I can also see silhouettes of pebble? Sometimes my size, sometimes bigger, sometimes far away, sometimes over my shoulder. Are they tulpas? Created mental energy hmm. that is sent out in an effort to create an artificial spirit, or actually something sentient. I can also change the color from gold to silver, and it will flash silver with a tidbit of work, but I cannot explain the process. So what do you think it is? I'm, I'm out of ideas, at least if my ideas match up with others, I don't know. Maybe I could pretend it's just as simple as whatever my theory is and I won't change my theory. Thank you. <laughs> yes, both the silver and gold colors are bright and also cast shadow on objects, which is a faded gold or silver color. Both me and Madam. 
Oh, well. <laughs> wow. well you're dumb. Turn. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Both me and Madam have seen it and are stumped. If I change my energy's flash color to silver, objects of interest are highlighted in silver, but the golden silhouettes continues to flash gold, not silver. This is a video game tutorial. Okay. Yeah, kids, what, kid, what you have is vats. <laughs> <laughs> you can so, click on the silver objects <laughs> to pick them up. I guess I'm going to ask a separate question here, and this is, I hate that this is the second time I've referenced an anime I haven't watched, but is this just the Kamehameha that I've seen on the, on the internet? <laughs> or you charge up your chi ball and then scream. And yeah. Scream and scream. Oh. <laughs> So it okay, does it how work? Did, how, did you, oh. how did you say that again? And can you say it again? I think the I think they call it the Kamehameha. Oh, okay. I I heard something else, and uh, never mind. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> All oh. right. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like I, was I was thinking you're referring <laughs> to a very different kind of anime. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I'm not it allowed is, to watch those. <laughs> <laughs> Mom won't let me. Uh, it is uh, time for yet another donation incentive. Again, thank you so much uh, for all of the uh, for all the slime purchases. Uh, but uh, we've been waiting for Kendrick Lobster to show up in um, this uh, this uh, podcast because he's got a gift for you. What is it? I uh, I will print and mail you a uh, little Shrek that you can put onto your toothpaste tube and it'll poop out your toothpaste. (laughs) Is right. right. So I know all of you have heard the call of the master. I know all of you have been looking for Shrek that poops toothpaste. Uh I have no guarantees about what color you're going to get. It's uh, it's whatever I've got in the box. One of you fuckers needs to buy this before I do. Yeah. (laughs) Well, fucking buy Victor, you know where the donation link is. <laughs> Victor, I will make you one. I'll make you the one that pees toothpaste. <laughs> You're gonna be a big dick that pees toothpaste. It's massive you can make that yeah. work too. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, we're going to move on to the next thread. Uh, again, that yes. uh, we do have multiple copies because uh, it is a 3D printed uh, pooping Shrek. Uh, and so uh, we have multiple uh, copies of those available for you. And it looks like somebody's already taken you up on it. Salubrious <laughs> Rex getting a $31 pooping Shrek, uh, <laughs> raising money for the National Network or of abortion funds. Uh, Victor, yes. you have a science question? I do. I have a, a science question. I have some i some you know fucking magnets how do they work yeah okay uh, i'm uh katsu senshi uh, are you sure is that what you want your name to be or do you i mean you could change it like you don't have to have that name uh can it be victor laszlo yeah sure let's go wait okay. yeah yeah okay yeah it's you should yeah. so change it to victor laszlo and so okay. now this is a post by victor laszlo yes yes hello all <laughs> hi victor Hi, I have a very important question I need answered. If you read this and think, there is no way, then please just don't respond. Public <laughs> enemy is... number six also needs a pooping Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> this is for outside of the box thinkers who have an understanding of polarity, yeah. positive versus negative. Let's pretend for a moment that the human itself has polarity. Oh, I'm pretending. Male is positive and female is negative. Am I right, guys? Out. Yeah. Hey, well, I don't get no respect. <laughs> How would it be scientifically possible to change one's polarity for male to become completely negative? Let's assume for a moment that positive polarity produces power. And let's assume that negative polarity attracts this power. This is going to get problematic really fucking quick. What else can we Uh, assume? So positive polarity is powerless. But let's say that positive polarity needs to shift itself and become completely negative. How would this be possible? Pretend for a moment that all humankind depends on the answer to this question. It is absolutely vital that I learn how to do this. Okay, let me pretend oh. that. Oh, God. Oh, shit. World depend on this stupid bullshit. Ah, no. fuck. It's made up. Oh, God. We're dead. Hey. We're dead. Hey. Oh. oh, shit. Look, if you're going to be an inside the box thinker, then you just fuck off, okay? This Terminator, this Terminator remix sucks. <laughs> 
<laughs> Just come ask come him, with like, me if you are an indigo child. <laughs> <laughs> is this person just asking how to be trans? Because it no. really does seem. No, I can't open with this. This, this, is, this is about power. This is, this is not about... It's, I gotta it's lead about in producing it. power and attracting power. <laughs> I want to say, like, duh, but, you know. <laughs> uh, Frank West, are you on a very high consciousness level? Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm m- me. Hey, people. <laughs> hey. Currently, I am really disappointed about the low consciousness level slash vibrational level slash open mind people I met here have. Okay. Also, very less OBEs or other psychic things. Is that the Super British knight thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, not anymore. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I am looking for people who think they are a very high level. <laughs> Just as I do think. <laughs> P.S. I don't want to sound arrogant. So, mm. the ego, it sounds arrogant, though. <laughs> if you get this, hit me up. Fuck. <laughs> Everybody's like, I don't want to brag. Yeah. Like, I am <laughs> yeah. It's not arrogant if you can back it up. Huh? This is, this is the most, most humble humble brag community we've been to. Oh my In- God. Indigo child looking for indigo child must be very high level. <laughs> not as high level as me. <laughs> oh, that was a different. That was a different podcast. I read it. Sorry. Looking Yet another one, rain. and uh, like as as you know, uh, somebody that struggles with this sometimes. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks for the donation, uh, and you will be getting a um, a uh, a pooping Shrek uh, kaiju, the first person ever to have given me a pronunciation guide for their name. So <laughs> thank you, kaiju, kaiju, kaiju. That is how it's pronounced. <laughs> Yay, Godzilla. <laughs> God, uh and then um and then uh kendrick uh why don't you take telepath john there hi, hi. no problem it can be hard to appreciate the lack of motivation for authentic self-empowerment thousands of years of fear based on living will have its effect on us i'm telepath john in my case <laughs> i can say that <laughs> This is a fucking Vox piece? <laughs> Screw you! We're here in Mexico so, City looking for... So how did we get here? In my case, I can say that I am an incarnated ascended master. A person who lives in a masterful manner must learn to respect and appreciate the particular path to awareness another person has chosen. That path may involve hundreds of lifetimes fighting against any form of awareness. Their core divinity is still just as amazing as any other expression of God. Mm -hmm. I'm always happy to talk with others about subjects which I have an interest in. Uh, And I'm going to sign it, John. (laughs) Thanks, John. Uh, I'm a psychic child, and uh, that is true, Vishnu. One of the human problems in accessing the fourth and fifth dimension is that our conscious mind's frequency level is to high at 30 hertz. This is what I've been saying. Yeah, yeah, we all operate at 30 hertz. The fourth and fifth dimension function in the theta slash delta frequency range and the lower crossing into the minis hyphen negative frequencies. In Mm -hmm. harmony, Roger. And then, uh, Victor, you've got uh, Jujuki, or sorry, Jujiki. 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 All right, look, I'm going to be blunt about this. Oh. You were kind of wrong, my friend, from a mechanical <gasps> point of view. I think I'm wrong on this forum. Look, no, hey, I understand that this is your belief based on life experience, but it's not how it mechanically works. You put a human being in categories when, in fact, it is in a constant developing state. Our conscious mind frequency can reach more than 30 hertz, much, much more, but not in the way you might think. We are all okay. constantly evolving, right. so you can't put fences between yourself and yourself. You might not reach more than 30 hertz now, but you will if you allow your experience okay. to get you there. Damn. Damn. Like your brain. Damn. Damn. I know after. Yeah. 
when he said it's not how it mechanically works, I was thinking he was going to bring actual real life mechanics into this. And yeah. I was disappointed. Where we are, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if there are enough monster energy, I'm going at more than 30 hertz. Gotta hit the turbo button. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Huh. Love you got you got more. You got yeah, more, fucker. I just I'm I'm warming up here. Uh yep. look. Love is all we need, guys. That's all. Love is the fuel for everything. Love is literally it. The Not only coke. real thing. <laughs> the rest of emotions and states of being we experience are simply lesser degrees of love and can only take place in a material world. For literally all things are love. Like all things all but, things are yeah. varying shades of love. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, something, that, what yeah. you just felt for that earlier Lou reads, uh, that was love. <laughs> that was all love. That was, all love. That was like twenty six percent love. <laughs> really diluted. That, that was actually love stripped down to extremely low frequencies. <laughs> <laughs> but always remember, you are always connected to love. Otherwise, you would not exist. Period. That is what the saying "you are unconditionally loved by creation" means. <laughs> That's a, okay. It means that you are love and always have access to love. You just don't realize it. You can't be disconnected from love. You would not exist otherwise. You're love getting like savaged us. by wolves. The wolves love you. Is is that the yeah. answer? Love fuels us and our actions, and probably the wolves too. Even if we don't realize it, you can simply say that people from the fourth and fifth dimension are bigger than a That's the dimension love right there. <laughs> that was a uh, that was a sixty nine dollar and sixty nine cent donation from Beast Mode Buddha. <laughs> yeah. nice. that's, that's someone whose brain is more than thirty hertz, right there. <laughs> Look, let's say you need a bigger jar than the one you have right now for it to take in more love. Practice love and compassion, and it will show you all the negative beliefs and blocks you might have in order to manifest the love you would like to have in your life. But you will have to face yourself and your negative parts in order to let them go to clean the closet of old clothes. So it is. Jesus Christ. Okay, I got, I got more. Uh, Fuck! If you do that, the wolves will leave you alone. <laughs> Look, when you are ready to do that, you will move into the fourth dimension and onward. Take my word for it, mate. I am speaking from the fourth dimension state of being right now. What? If you have trouble trusting me... Ask your higher self slash guides slash angels slash inner voice slash inner guidance, and it will tell you the same thing I am telling you here. No, it's what's good for it. All Does the fourth dimension here... get 5G? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a ball of light type on a keyboard. Oh, this stuff. I mean, the fourth you dimension is like a strip off, Mantra. 4G. <laughs> All you're doing, you're trying to find yourself and your place in this current society and in creation. That's all. Can you see it like this? Can you accept it like this? Without judgment and labels you put on each other? Even if you don't say them, but you feel them. And finally hold hands and move towards the greater mindset, which is unity and compassion. If you don't want that, please ignore everything I wrote above. Hey! Bye! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Only listen to Psychic John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's pretty well interviewed to me. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, Mantra, you got some advice for us? Do I got some advice for you? Yeah, yeah, you got some advice. It's uh, it's uh, it's number seven here uh, in the uh, in the uh, doc. Uh, oh, okay, to, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. I I could have told you this advice without reading reading oh. this post, <laughs> but not spiritually. <laughs> Stay away from the INTG forum. <laughs> That's good advice. <laughs> Hi, my name is Serene Sab. Hey, the forum's still up. Look, the ENTJ forum is where it's at, and everybody knows it. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I highly recommend that people stay away from this forum. Uh, link to forum. You're going to yep. go ahead and click that right away? Yep, yep, you got it, yeah, you got it, yeah. It still exists. Holy crap. So far, all good, good advice. All I agree that is it. exactly the web design I was expecting. Wow, they have a public Discord, too. Oh, do, they, do they have a hit counter? Please tell me they have a hit counter. No, unfortunately. No. This is not an NSFW server. We're just looking for a mature crowd that isn't dominated by miners. 
Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, boy. It's called Introverts International. Anyway. <laughs> Let me go to that kind of bullshit. Let's uh, stick to this kind of bullshit. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Get off topic. It is like a police state over there. <laughs> they don't allow people to have signatures. What? <laughs> am I supposed to express myself? Or am I going to put Some my separate off just- there? <laughs> Some posts just disappear for no reason, especially posts that seems to stir the pot. Hmm. Anybody who knows me knows that I do not post ad hominem attacks, and I have had several posts deleted. Unlike Avatars- Kevin, who's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Avatars have to be precise. And if you don't know to how, how to adjust your avatars, because technology is not your specialty, you would be stuck with picking one of their avatars they give you. Or like a you police have... state! <laughs> <laughs> what kind of world are we living in? I remember when we had freedoms! Wait, mate, you got a license for the avatar? <laughs> Or you have to play nice, bow down like a slave, and ask someone to help you with the image <laughs> adjustment by posting a request <laughs> on a particular section. So, yes, sir, please, sir. <laughs> so in order to change your avatar, you either need to know how to do it yourself or ask for help? Yes. My God! <laughs> yeah, it's like a police state. Moderators and administrators are aching to a communist party, and there is a very high centralization. Mm-hmm. I like this forum better and feel that I have been treated well here by the members. I love having my own avatar here, having a signature, and being able to openly talk about anything. That is what freedom is all about. It's like the founding fathers of the U.S., the Bill of Rights, oh and the God. Constitution, where you can really express <laughs> anything you want. Sometimes, <laughs> black, black I'm really, in the background. sometimes I'm really proud to be an American, and and this is yeah. that this is, is my, why I served my country. This is what George Washington wanted. <laughs> my favorite amendment is the Avatar Amendment. So. <laughs> That's uh, specifically uh, the one I fought for. And, and so, I don't agree with your profile signature, but I'll fight and die for your right to have it. <laughs> and then, Serene Sam, you respond to yourself to let us know uh, what their avatars' uh, rules are. Here are their avatar rules. Dimensions must be exactly 115 to 145 pixels. That's an odd. Oh, that's an odd dimension. One one fifteen in width by one forty five in height. It's a little odd. Man. That's, a, that's a police state. Yeah. <laughs> File size must be thirty kb or less. Yeah. No border. No transparency. <laughs> no animation. No text. Talk about dictatorship. <laughs> I'm supposed to express myself in these conditions. <laughs> Just <laughs> that was so that was so stupid. That was so stupid. And just just pointing out that uh, over in uh, over in the Discord here, uh, Victor was just poking around on the uh, INTJ forums. Uh, would it surprise? you to know that uh that the intj forum has decided that walter white is an intj and furthermore think he's fucking cool <laughs> like, that would not surprise me at all and also oh, that, yeah. that the same personality type includes walter white and michelle obama yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, they're the same Those are the same elon guys. musk Could christopher nolan christopher nolan, <laughs> christopher nolan. I gotta tell you, I I looked really quickly at that picture and I thought Christopher Nolan was doing a Sig Heil. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so caught off guard, I lost track of what I was doing. <laughs> okay, um, uh, so <laughs> my username is Arrogant. <laughs> Arrogant. That's Arrow, like the Canadian candy bar. <laughs> Gant. Arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you are not, you are naive, not alive. Listen, we are not alive. We are naive. <laughs> are rephrasing it make it better? Boy, you are saying a lot of the same words, and it is on in the morning. On the edge of my seat. You got me hooked. <laughs> I think he thinks that's an anagram. <laughs> Come on, bring it home. <laughs> 
Being naive is not enough. We feel that we must consume by widening what is. Like, what? (laughs) Oh, boy. Like like forcing a woman's genitalia open more than is necessary? What am I talking about? Oh. What? what am I, what am I that talking That seems about? like some telepath John shit. That's, 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 <laughs> that's, that's weirdly specific. Right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tell me, how can you be alive in a universe that is still young and becoming? Please tell me what alive is and when the story of our lives has been written and then I get in a fight with a uh, opium child and then uh, that goes on for fucking ever and then I glance over at the clock and I go like, oh shit, that was an hour. <laughs> 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 so that happened fast. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, star seeds. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, that was, uh, that was, that was some dumb, that was some dumb bullshit. God, I, I don't know. Maybe I am not online enough. Like, um, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah I should well, fix that then. <laughs> it's always, yeah, it's always good to know, to know, like, what further on the horizon looks like, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, this something to me that someone wants to be on this forum and they also want to be on the INTJ forum because they're like the complete opposite ends of this like kind of bullshit. Yeah, but like assholes in both camps, right? So it's just like I want to hang out with assholes. I don't really I'm not going to get too particular about it. Uh this uh this was uh our uh, our fucking the <laughs> Our number 14. Uh, Coming up right after that, uh, we have the very beginning of our four-hour extra credit block. And it is going to be very exciting. The documents that they have planned are exemplary. Uh, So all four of this hour is going to be hosted by Shell Game. In this first hour, the uh, hour 15, you're going to have the Lesbiathon, Dr. Activisionary, Positronic, Dijon du Jour, Positive Stress, and uh, on the pens uh, will be uh, Moxie Ramsey. Uh, so stick around for that. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, keep donating. Thank you so much. Oh, wait. The- oh <laughs> yes. Also, 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 yes. also. Did I save that picture? No. Uh, uh, yep. Also. <laughs> hold on. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, uh, Here uh, it is again in a moment. Discord, yep. you can do it. Yep, there we go. Okay, and then and then there we go. Uh, so uh, as a reminder for the donation incentives, we want to break uh, last year's uh, total um, mm-hmm. of uh, twenty one thousand five hundred and sixty something. And if we do that, uh, Frank West will be playing uh, the, the Babylon is to be destroyed game. Oh God! Yes. <laughs> and, and more importantly, Boots will also owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I'm hitting the break button. Come on back. 